The aim of this video is to show how we can take uh, OpenStreetMap editing to the next level. So rather than using the online ID editor that comes with OpenStreetMap in the web browser, we're going to use a tool called Jossum. So if you do a search for Jossum and go to the download link and download the file for your particular type of computer, I'm going to save mine in here and it's a zip file I'm just opening it up and if I want to run it I've got jossum.app this is on a Mac it'll be slightly different on Windows or Linux uh, and I'm just going to throw that into my applications folder and I should be able to launch it then using jossum so you need to have uh, Java already installed on your system. So uh, when I first tried to open Jossum on Mac, it the security settings allowed disallowed me from opening it. So um, I'm going to the applications folder and I'm going to control press Control on my keyboard and then open the package. So this is only a Mac security thing. So I'm going to click open. So once the Jossum editor opens, uh, it shows a welcome screen and it tells us the first thing we want to do is download some data. So if we click this download button, hopefully we can zoom in to uh, the area that we want to focus on. Oh, I'm just going to focus on the Nuri area and click download. So now I've got the Jossum editor with uh, the OpenStreetMap data in it. Uh, there's a few other things we can do to make our Jossum experience a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to cover those uh, step by step. So the first thing I might want to do is get some uh, background photography, uh, aerial imagery for uh, the map that we're looking at. So I'm going to click on imagery and bing. And we should see then over on the layers panel on the right, um, we've got our OpenStreetMap data. And below that, we've got some Bing aerial imagery. So we can zoom in and we should be able to see houses and stuff like that. So that makes it a little bit nicer. I'm just going to clear that morning message. So the next thing I want to do in Jossum is make sure that we are have our OpenStreetMap account linked to Jossum. So I'm going to go to Edit Preferences again, and the second item on the Settings menu uh, allows us to specify the connection to OpenStreetMap. So I'm going to click on Authorize Now, and I should have to log in. So I'll just pause while I enter my uh, login details. So I've entered my username and password uh, that I use for OpenStreetMap, and I click on Authorize Now, and I get my token. Uh, and I'll accept that and carry on. And now any changes that I make in Jossum, I can upload directly to OpenStreetMap. So the next thing I want to do is add some plugins. So I'll go back to Edit Preferences and choose the fourth item down, the Plugins menu. And I want to down upload or download a list of the available plugins. And I can see there's lots of user added plugins here. I'm going to recommend a few and uh, the first one we want is building tools so I want to tick that one um, Terracer is also useful so I want to tick that and also Mapillary uh, to allow us to have a street view of different streets so once I've got uh, all the, the plugins that I want ticked I'll just click update plugins and that should install uh, the, the plugins that I've requested there. And once I receive the confirmation that the plugins have been loaded, I need to restart Jossum, so I'll do that now. So I'll just quit out of Jossum and restart. So with Jossum reopened, I'm going to download data again, just choose that same area, Nuri, and select my imagery and choose Bing again. We'll see we've got our two layers here but now we've got our plugins installed you'll see down on the right hand side there i've got the mapillary plugin in there so if i choose 
a location somewhere on the map that has meat pillory data, then it'll show up uh, down here uh, and I'll be able to see photographs from the street view. So we can see in the mapillary uh, panel here that it's asking us to press uh, shift plus and comma to download images. So that should show me, you can see lots of green dots pop up here. And if I was to click on a, a place that I wanted to edit, I can see that there's an image in here uh, of, of that street. So it can help me to work out uh, the, the, the numbers of houses and the how many levels a building has. We can see here there's some dots of photographs I took actually today and they've been looks like they've been uploaded already. Um, and if I was to click on one, I could just click and draw a square to zoom in if I needed to see the name of a business or a, a house number. Now, the all the dots and the lines of the mapillary stuff can get in the way if you're editing. So up in the layers panel, you can click the little eye icon uh, to turn that off so that you can see a bit more clearly what it is you want to do. So the task I wanted to do today was uh, trying to map a few more houses around the meadow area, uh, which is why I wanted to use the Terracer uh, plugin that we installed earlier. So we'll see we've got the building tools uh, icon newly installed here so we're going to use that and we're going to be able to use the terracer as well so i'm here uh, in sleep gullion road on new and i've zoomed into this house here and i can see that the house number is 34 and i know the house numbers increase as we go up this way so i'm going to choose the building tool i'm going to try and draw a rectangle around this block of houses here and once I've got those drawn I'm going to choose the select tool here on the hand I'm going to choose that block of houses and I'm going to go up to the menu and choose more tools terrace of building and that will allow me the lowest number is 34 so the 34 36 38 40 so the highest number is 40 sleep gullion road it is even and odd and there are four segments <coughs> I'm going to choose Sleeve, Sleeve Gullion Road for there. It's a building, yes, and okay. So that splits those group of houses up. So I'm going to choose the next block of houses, make sure the building, the draw buildings tool is chosen. And I'm going to click once, click twice, and that will allow the rectangle to be made like that. Uh, I need to select that group and I want to terrace that set of houses. There's four of them. The highest number is going to be 32. The lowest number, 30, 20, 26. Even two segments. And again, it's Sleeve Gullion Road. And okay, so that's me split those group. I'm right clicking to drag down the way and I now want to choose the building tool again I'm going to choose uh, click around this set of houses okay and this is going to be uh, more tools terrace of building the highest number is 24 the lowest number 18 Four segments, the street is Sleeve, Sleeve Gully Road, okay. If you need to rotate with the item selected, you can hold down Control and Shift, and that changes your icon to a little turny thing, so you can twist things around. So Control, Shift, hold down Control, Shift, and you can drag them. So I'm now on to Ivy Crescent. I've done the first six houses and i just want to terrace these houses but i've noticed there's an extension on this house here so let's terrace it first um lowest number is what do i say seven seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and six segments and the street is ivy crescent ivy crescent and maybe now i can try my 
extrusion if I double click no I'm in the wrong tool am I? can I double click because I'm in the selection tool if I'm in my building tool can I double click no I can't try the nodes tool double click double click X for extrusion pull that out okay. so I've put their extension on so just as uh, as I described in a previous video uh, to get the high quality aerial uh, imagery for Nuri we go first to open aerial map we start exploring and we should zoom in to Nuri so I'm going to zoom down and what I want is to click on a square that's right in the center near you and I should see the uploaded imagery that Connor Graham uploaded from the council's uh, UAV footage so uh, within this the, the metadata on the left hand side here we can see copy, copy image URL and I'm going to choose WMTS that's something I can use from within uh, JOSM so I go back I go to imagery and imagery preferences in JOSM here and in here we can see that there's many providers like Bing, uh, Knockbox and things like that but what we want to do is add our own one and you can see down at the bottom here we've got the option to add a WMTS entry so if I click that and I paste in, did I copy that? Yeah. Um, and I want a name for this layer so I'm going to call it Nuri UAV imagery and if I click OK, so hopefully then when I'm up here under imagery, I should be able to choose Nuri UAV imagery. That's OK. Now, it won't show me this area here because it only includes uh, this area of the town here. So you can see there's a slight change there between the Bing imagery and the higher quality. So this, this uh, when it loads, when it finally loads up, it'll be very high quality the imagery just like we used on, on when we were using the ID editor on OpenStreetMap so you can see there's quite a difference there in the clarity as it loads it takes a little while for it to load each tile but the quality there you can see the difference between um, this high quality imagery that we added and this lower quality Bing imagery so that makes mapping a little bit easier because you can zoom right down to see individual cars and stuff in, in here so it should make life a bit easier and you can see that at, on the right hand side over in layers we've got this new imagery you can switch it on and off just by clicking the eye icon beside that layer so uh, I'm finished editing for tonight so the main thing left to do is update my changes from JOSM here up to the OpenStreetMap server so I want to go to file upload data I'm adding some houses and my source is I've used Bing and Mapillary for my changes and there they go up to the server and that's me done.